Message? Oh, from Michelle. How very yeah. amusing. So you like to watch it together? Yes. Let's have a look. Hey, Prince Harry. Remember when you told us to bring it at the Invictus Games? Careful what you wish for. Boom. Oh, really? <laughs> Please. Boom. I think the, the biggest pressure for me was was wanting to, wanting to ask her, but not wanting to put pressure on her. Um, she is my boss. She's all of our bosses. She's the head of the armed forces. Um, and it seemed appropriate four years after her, uh, her helicopter exit at the Olympics that this was the, it was the right timing. And if you've got the ability to be able to, to ask the Queen to, to up one on the Americans, then, uh, then why not? What I had to explain to her was the, the, the previous uh, challenge that I'd given to, to the First Lady when I was in Washington. So that was where the whole thing started. She asked, she asked whether we were going to bring it. I said yes, were they going to bring it? And, um, and then she ended up dragging the, 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 uh, the President in on something that was quite personal between the two of us. And um, that was, uh, there was no way that I was going to come to, uh, to America, 15 love down to the Americans. So naturally I was going to drag the Queen into it and say, you know, do, do you want to be part of this? And she was more than happy to, to oblige. And I hope that everybody enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. And I know she did as well. The mistress of the Raya side, but also highly competitive internationally. Yes, of course, highly competitive. But who I'd, for those of people who are asking, what was that all about? I don't, there was no one else that I can think of that was going to top the president and the first lady of the United States of America. So it was, a, it was an easy, easy thing for me to, to, to sit there and go, right, well, this has to be the Queen, otherwise we lose. Simple as that. <laughs> well, let's talk about the Invictus Games because this originated in a moment, a momentary light bulb moment you had, as it were, in a plane coming back from Afghanistan during your first tour. And I think you were feeling a bit down at the time. I was, that's right. I was feeling very down. I think um, the best way to explain it to people is, you know, I, I was an officer. I'd been training for three years, training with, uh, with a select group of guys. We were a, a tight-knit team. Um, I'd already been told I wasn't allowed to go to Iraq, but I was allowed to go to Afghanistan. Let's not get into that. But, um, you know, the training, had, the training had been done. We gelled together and, and I was out there uh, with the guys. And to be, to be taken away from, from your team, um, not knowing what was going to happen to them and whether you were going to be indirectly responsible was a, was a huge thing. It was something that I had, to, was, that I had to, to swallow. You know, once on that plane heading back with three uh, wounded English, um, British soldiers, who were wrapped up in plastic with tubes coming out of their mouth and out of their arms, all in induced comas. One of the guys had a, had a test tube filled with uh, shrapnel that had been removed from his head that he was clutching while, while asleep. And you know, I just, spent, I just spent a few minutes there just sitting with them and unable to speak to them, obviously. But that was a, a real turning point in my life. You know, not being Captain Wales, but being Prince Harry at the time, I was thinking, this, 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 th there needs to be something here. And it was only 2012, after you know, hearing about the Warrior Games, being able to see it and doing my second tour, that I actually realized sport plays a huge, huge part in, in the rehabilitation of so many people. This surely is, is, you know, is a magical thing. Let me ask you about uh, monarchy and royalty itself. You can pick up a cause, popular or unpopular, and make it front page news. And you can choose those causes and change people's lives for the better, which is what these games are all about. Um, to what extent is this really um, the, the, the heritage of your mother? She was the first person in many ways to start to pick up some of these less popular, more difficult causes. To me, I don't think it's an unpopular uh, cause as such. I think it just it, it, it's something that needed a spotlight shone on it and to prove that these individuals would not that they don't want to be defined by their injuries they want to be defined as as, 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 as human beings as the person that they originally were here and, and, and mentally and physically and I think all we've done is create this sporting platform where they can they can be in their element and and it's literally it's lives being changed there and then so with, with regard to the question with with to, to my mother i think i think it's um it's not a sensitive subject this is not this is this is not a, uh, about landmines let's say this is more about you know 15 different nations of individuals that need need rehabilitation they need curing they need fixing and and they're the ones doing this and we get to have the opportunity to be there and create create this atmosphere and help them on that road looking ahead let me chance my arm with a cheeky question a bit like your mother you are pursued every minute of every day by lots of people trying to take photographs videoing recording what you're saying pushing how can you possibly have a private life 
Um, uh, cheeky question. You're right, that is a cheeky question. But, um, Andrew, to be honest with you, sadly, um, that, that line between public and private life is, 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 is almost uh, non-existent anymore. And we, we will continue to do our best to ensure that, that, that there is the line. You know, we, we are completely aware that we're in a very privileged, privileged position. And I will, I will spend the rest of my life uh, you know, earning that, earning that privilege and trying to bring a spotlight onto things and causes that really, really matter to me and I hopefully matter to a lot of other people as well. Um, everyone, is, everyone has a right, right to their privacy and, you know, a lot of, a lot of the members of the public uh, get it, but in, sadly in some areas um, there is this, this sort of incessant need to find out every little bit of detail about what goes on behind the scenes. It, it, it's, it's unnecessary, you know, I hope that people get to see me here in this Invictus role, you know, cracking on with, with, with the guys and, and mucking in and having a, having a good time with them. And this is, you know, this is, this is half my official role, but half my private role. This is, this is what I enjoy doing, but the private life has to, has to be private. And I hope people respect that.